Speedway Today, sponsored by Roy Rogers Heating and Air and Joella's Hot Chicken. Hello, everybody. Anthony Kellum back here live at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway alongside our race analyst, Tyce Carlson. And welcome to the team. And, of course, back for another year with Wish TV, the great Graham Rahal here with us. And, Graham, it is always great, my friend, of course, to be here at the Speedway the month of May. And I know you guys are thinking about, obviously, the Indy 500, but you do have a race tomorrow, the IndyCar Grand Prix. How tough is it, though, to focus on this race and not think about the 500 later this month? Well, I mean, in, you know, here today it's pretty easy, obviously, because we're in that mode and you know your your mind is kind of completely set on on what we were going through today try to be competitive going into the race tomorrow but it is always hard to uh, ignore that come tomorrow night the attention is fully set on the 500 and practice and qualifying and everything that leads up to that um, so it, it's not necessarily easy to uh, to just get through the weekend your mind's always wanting to go forward and stuff but you know here we are and we're gonna have to make the most of it this weekend we're in a great spot starting tomorrow and uh you know the other thing is a lot of points on the line here this weekend so you know you can't ignore that fact that it can really help us as we go into the championship and some a lot of the contenders are starting at the back which is a good thing for us. Yeah, so let's talk about just your qualifying run here today at the speed where you're going to start seventh position in tomorrow's race. Give us your take on what you thought of your progress today here on this road course. Well, yeah, I thought it was great. Um, you know, earlier today we were not in a very good position um, at all. And, you know, our team made great adjustments. Alan McDonald, my engineer, uh, did an awesome job as we went into qualifying there. Changed a lot, honestly, way more than we would have liked to. And it worked. I mean, truthfully, we were on a lap that was going to put us third. And I screwed up the very last corner. And it's so competitive. It only cost me nine hundredths of a second. Nine hundredths took me from third to seventh. So now we start seventh. So let me ask you this. With a big talk of rain tomorrow, the rumors were that everybody was going to go through all their reds and qualifying today because they thought that they were just going to go on rains tomorrow. Did you guys do anything like that? No, we were pretty much, uh, you know, kind of business as usual. Um, we didn't make it to the last, obviously, the fast six. We ju just missed out there by two hundredths. Um, so we really didn't do that. I, I, you know, there were guys that used their reds twice in the fast six. I was surprised because I think tomorrow, if it's dry, it's a red race. You know, red tire race, there's no doubt about that. The reds are way quicker. They've got a lot more grip. Um, I think it's the tire, it's, it is the tire two race tomorrow. But having said that, we see the you know, threat of rain. We've had rain here a lot before. Uh, cool temperature is gonna make for a really slippery and, and, and tricky day. Um, I just have this gut feeling it's gonna be dry at some point tomorrow. And remember, if you're watching, if you're coming out, if it goes, wet at any point in the race the tire rule where you have to run reds and blacks is out the window there is no rule after that so if it is wet at any point you can then just run reds to the finish you do not need to run a primary tire all right so the story today though was survive surrounding these rookies here at the speedway and we do have a rookie on the pole here today felix rosenquist will be on the pole first pole of his career how impressive is it Graham, when you see a young man like this get his first career pole here at it didn't have more speedway. Uh, it, was a, it was a great day for Ganassi, too. You know, you got he and Dixie sweeping the top two. Um, you know, the Ganassi lock on the front row. We had that as a team at Ray Letterman Lanigan at, at Barber at the last road course. But Felix is, you can call him a rookie. This guy's not a rookie. I mean, he has had a lot of experience. He's won everything you can possibly win in Europe. Uh, the Macau GP twice, which, okay, most of you watching don't know what Macau Grand Prix is. It is probably, other than the Indy 500, one of the most historic races worldwide. Um, so this guy's got a lot of talent, and so does Herta. So, you know, I think uh, tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. Okay, as you mentioned, Scott Dixon will be in the second position tomorrow. Then, of course, Jack Harpy will start in the third spot for tomorrow's IndyCar Grand Prix. Meanwhile, we had a chance to catch up with Graham's boss, David Letterman, today. He has some nice things to say about GR. As a driver, under any circumstance, uh, irrespective of starting position, irrespective of conditions, uh, the, the guy will hunt you down and eat you alive. And I, you, you see it uh, every weekend. Makes no difference if it's an oval, a street course, a natural terrain road course, mid-pack, front, uh, back to end, he will come and get you. And, and if you don't think that's going to happen, you're making a huge mistake.
Oh, you gotta love that. From I've never eaten anybody. <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing. I said, "What?" <laughs> Pretty cool, though, right? Yeah, it's great to have him here today. Spent a bunch of time with him, uh, chatting in between, and you know, it's awesome to have him here. He loves us. I mean, being an indie, you know, for him, there's nothing better. All right, Graham Ray Hall with us here tonight on Wish TV. Of course, he'll be with us coming up on Sunday, Sports Locker Sunday in studio. Good luck to him tomorrow as he gets ready for the IndyCar Grand Prix. That's it from here. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Much more tonight at 10 and 11. All right.